I love the idea of art versus craft. I think that this demo, we tried to encapsulate that by looking at craft, very hands-on. Every single person here was, uh, you know, using blood and making sausages, and they were all getting dirty and up to their elbows in it. Uh, but I think that that comes forward, and you can look to see what are the next steps and what will people be doing with this next, and that, I think, is where the art comes in. First thing we want to start with is panko breadcrumbs. What we generally do is take cream, uh, heavy cream or double cream, and so what we want to do is have that cream start to absorb into the breadcrumbs. Blood's used for so many different things. It's used for flavor, it's used for nutrients. Every culture uses it for something slightly different, and that's kind of the cool part. You know, you get to see a lot of different interpretations on one ingredient. The quick thing to say about the sausage casing is this is, uh, we use salted hog casings. Um, we use those because they tend to be very versatile. You put salt and our spices. We put uh, a curry spice in here. We put black pepper. Again, a little bit of nutmeg. I also put porcini powder because I think that the earthiness of the uh, the mushrooms tend to go really well with the, the background noise of the blood. I think the blood brings kind of an old school technique. You know, I think that a lot of people think about our restaurant, they think about fusion, they think about new ideas. I like to tie into history and, and tie into these antiquated um, systems and ingredients. And, and I think it really brings the whole thing together. All right, so I've cooked some onions in duck fat. Again, you can use pork fat, beef fat, whatever fat you want, whatever flavor you're looking for. So um, we have apples, and the apples we've cubed up, uh, cooked again in some duck fat and deglazed with a bit of rum. Cubes of fat, again back fat. And last, the blood. There's some people that are a little wary about uh, sending me blood, and so they devise interesting packages, um, and some do send it to me in medical bags. Here I have um, 14A, which is also known as uh, rabbit blood. It's easier to get drugs than getting blood, you know. You could, uh, you could have a nasty habit and, and have a fine time of it, but I can't make my Boudin Noir come on. <laughs> With these, we cook them very, very, very slowly in stock because basically whatever you cook it in is going to permeate its flavor into your sausage. That's good, Maddie. Cover them up. You want them on a low heat for about 20 to 25 minutes and voila. I think when we first opened, it was a little bit of the double dare, you had to eat that type thing. But we've built a reputation. I think a lot of people come back just for that. So it's nice it's evolved so much over the years from sort of something weird and, and strange that uh, no one really wants to order to something that people come back every single weekend.